Well, they nap it up, they scratch it up, they got some fur, they love to purr, that's right. I'm talking about cats. From rapper to trapper, this next guy, he ain't shy about why he loves them kitties. I'm talking about Sterling Davis, the Trapper King. Good morning to you, King. Good morning. Oh, Thank you for kitties. having me. <laughs> I am so, I already told you in the commercial break, I'm in love with you. We just met. Ooh, who you got there? This is Alanis Muissette. <laughs> Alanis Muissette. Oh, this is why I love you. Okay, as a crazy cat lady myself, of course, I'm elated to be able to talk to you. For those who don't know your story, it's such, it's such a cool background. Please tell us how you got involved with Stray Cats. So I've actually been in the music all my life. Uh, I was in the in-between music tours when I decided to um, work at a animal rescue, go to an animal rescue, help scoop some litter, and I fell in love. I had already had cats of my own, but it really touched me in a different way, working for the shelter, learning about TNR and doing it, and I wanted to get more men engaged, so I, I stuck with it. And for those who don't know what TNR is, it's trap, neuter, return, right? Right. It's the humane alternative for euthanasia or death for stray and feral cat populations. And that is something, I mean, you pointed that out. There's not a lot of men who work in animal welfare, specifically with cats. So I love that you're working to change the stereotype. But also something else you notice, not a lot of black men, right? Right, right. And that's one of the things that really got me into it. And I wanted to try and bridge the gap between the cat rescue community and the black community and uh, get more men involved. Let, let people know you don't lose cool, cool points for compassion. No, you don't. And you've worked so hard um, to get to where you are. I, I read that you kind of scrounged up some money. You got a conversion van and we're just driving around with your logo and just working to help cats. Right. I've lived out of my 1997 conversion <laughs> there for a couple of years. And recently I was able to upgrade it to an RV. So now me and my girls, Demita Joe and Alana Smuset, <laughs> we've traveled around in an RV. So we upgraded a little bit. <laughs> you are amazing. I have to ask, you know, you now call, I think, feral cats community cats. But what's the difference between a quote unquote community cat and a homeless cat? Well, it's a lot. It's a difference. Um, one of the things I'm having an event with Face Pauls and my friend Tabitha Cusera today, and that's one of the things that we'll be doing is debunking some of these myths. The difference between a feral cat and a stray cat or a homeless cat is the homeless cat isn't aggressive or anything. They're probably friendly, but they prefer to be outside. A feral cat is more so somebody that you know, you want to stay away from that kitty. Yeah. But uh, homeless cats, they are friendly. They're community pets. You have a lot of colony feeders, and they're not dangerous. So the best thing to do is a proper TNR program and get them spayed, neutered, and vaccinated, and then continue feeding. This advice is so helpful because here at our television station, we had um, some kittens who had kittens, and so we did that. We had some coworkers <laughs> who've been feeding them daily, and they did the whole TNR, and they're back, and they're community kitties. We all feed them. We pet them. Um, how can With the ear tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, you know, how can people help feral cats using your help? So the best thing to do is first you want to locate your local rescue uh, TNR group. Uh, they have a lot of them. You can go online, pull up TNR, and they'll have, you can find different places in your area where you can TNR. If not, you can reach me at trapkinghumane.org, and I'll help you find them. But the best thing to do before you just feed and put out food, you want to do a proper TNR program. That way they're spayed, neutered, vaccinated, and then they won't overpopulate to so many kitties that you can't handle yeah. in your neighborhood. Exactly. Okay, so we have less than a minute left. There are two things I want to talk to you about. One, when you're not trapping, you're playing matchmaker, Tabby Dates? Yeah. <laughs> yes, on TabbyDates.com. It's the first ever dating app for cat lovers. So you got to check it out, www.tabbydates.com. Can you put in a good word for me? Because I would like to be a spokesperson for them. <laughs> and then also, <laughs> you're, you're working on setting a world record. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's a care dare. Um, I'm working to set the record for the most cats TNR are rescued in a 24-hour period. And I'm hoping that this record will be broken over and over again every kitten season so that we can get some of these kittens rescued out here. But May 20th through the 22nd, I'll be out looking to break that record, trapping all the kitties I can. Perfect. You've got that <laughs> webinar today, Cats and Habitat. If there's any way, I'm serious, Sterling, that I can help you as a fellow crazy cat person, please reach out to me. And thank you. You guys go check them out, trapkinghumane.org. I love you right now. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>